Hello everyone. I am here with the interesting topic and it's basically about self-esteem. Now, I just want to really mainly address this to my ladies. Uh when it comes to how you feel about yourself, a lot of people and I'm included in this as well. We feel really good once we have our outside appearance all together. Uh there's nothing wrong with going to the gym, working out, you know, staying on top of what you eat, staying on top of being physically fit. It's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even going to say it's anything wrong with women wearing wigs or weaves or braids or um makeup Everybody has their own personal preference as to what they like to wear and what they like to do to add on as far as how they already look physically. But my message to everyone that's viewing this video, true beauty and self-esteem should not come from how you look physically on the outside. Now I know that this sounds probably corny to some people because it sounded corny to me all of my life when I was like a child I would hear people say beauty is skin deep it's what's on the inside that counts nobody cares about how you look physically but it sounded so dumb to me <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to be honest with you people. It sounded so dumb to me because in my mind, I'm like, what do these people mean that beauty is for, on, on, the out, on the inside? Nobody can see my insides. Nobody cares about what's going on inside of me. People only care about how you look physically because this is a real truth. In this life that we live, in this world, and it's sad that this happens, but... I'm just going to be real with you all and you all already know you're not ignorant to this. You are sometimes treated based off how you look. I mean, it's sad and it's unfair, but an attractive person, somebody that's like drop dead gorgeous or fine or just pretty or whatever. Uh, they are treated differently than somebody sometimes that is considered unattractive. Period. You can see a fine, attractive man walk in the room and... All the ladies take to him. They talk to him. They're laughing with him. They're flirting with him. Same thing with a woman. A fine woman can walk in the room. All the men are looking at her. All eyes is on her. They're talking to her. They're in tune to her. They, they like her. But if an unattractive woman walks in the room or an unattractive man walks in the room, <clears throat> excuse me, people really don't give them the time of day. They really don't talk to them. It just depends. It depends on what setting you're in. Uh, everybody is not like that. It's people out here like myself. I'll pretty much talk to anybody. I've never treated anybody based off how they look physically. Um, and if I have, it wasn't intentional. But my thing today in this message is I have really found that it is so true. Inside beauty and, and real true self-esteem, it does come from the inside. And what's going on in your heart and what's going on as a whole inside of you, it would radiate and show on the outside. Let me give you another example. I have seen drop dead gorgeous women and I've seen very fine, sexy, attractive men. I have. But their character and their heart and their overall attitude, it sucks. It sucks. It's horrible. You know, you ask them a question, they have an attitude, they're extremely arrogant, they feel that they literally are God's gift to women, or if it's a woman, she feels that she's God's gift to men, she thinks every single man wants her. They just have ugly attitudes and um, horrible characters and a lot of just impure things in their heart. But, and don't get me wrong about what I'm about to say, because I don't want to offend anybody and um, I don't want to sound shallow. But this is just the honest to God truth of what goes on in this world we live in. You will have somebody that is considered not attractive, whether it's a male or a female. And they will be considered 
not attractive, but their personality and their heart and their character is so beautiful. I mean, it is so freaking beautiful. I have seen someone that people don't consider attractive. They don't consider them beautiful, but they have an awesome attitude, personality, a great heart. And with all of that that they have, it makes them the most beautiful person. They are so beautiful on the outside. And I want to let you guys know something that you probably already know. Anything can change in our lives and it affects how we look physically. Anything can happen. You can get into a car accident right now and your entire face or your body is damaged, it's destroyed. You can get in a fire and the fire damages or destroys how you look or your body parts. You can uh, have something going on with your kidneys. And anybody that knows anything about kidneys, if something goes wrong with your kidneys, it changes uh, your skin color. You can start off like my skin color or, or even lighter. And a lot of people that have had problems with their kidneys, they turn extremely dark. Uh, you can get diabetes. You can get cancers. You, you guys see the point that I'm trying to make. The point is we cannot just rely on how we look physically and we cannot just believe and feel that how we look today right now, this will always be the situation and the case the rest of our lives. I, I hope we do look this great and this awesome. But the fact is your self-esteem and your uh, attitude should not just come behind how you look physically. I mean, it does help you to feel better about yourself. Some women wear their makeup. Some women wear weave, they wear wigs, uh, they dress a certain kind of way, and it does make them look really good uh, physically. It makes them look good on the outside. But sometimes you can feel horrible on the inside and be an ugly person on the inside. So true beauty and self-esteem, it starts from how you feel about yourself on the inside. So my message to you guys today is... Ask yourself, what is it inside of me? What is it about me, strictly from the inside, that makes me beautiful? What is it? I want you guys to soul search today. Soul search. Sit to yourself. Get by yourself. Don't even go and ask other people, well, what is it about me that makes me fine? Or what is it about me that makes me look good or sexy or attractive or pretty? No, you. You get to yourself in your alone time and in your quiet time and you ask yourself, what is it about me that makes me beautiful only from the inside? That's what I want you guys to do because what's on the inside and what's in your heart really is what counts. Again, I say to you, you can be drop dead gorgeous physically. I mean, each day we're aging. Some people don't even look how they did when they were in their 20s and now they've hit their 30s and they look completely different than how they did in their 20s. It's some people that are in their 40s and they don't look like what they did when they were in their 30s. That's not everybody's story. Some people still do look young or they look good, but that's not everybody's story. Some people, every time they turn an age or every 10 years that passes, they look completely different than what they did. But my message basically to you people is, ask yourself, what is inside of me? Find out today what's truly inside of you. And once you realize what is inside of you, you will then understand that that is truly where your self-esteem comes from. Once you have a good heart, good character, great intentions and motives, for people, it changes how you act and what's going on on the inside. As I stated before, it radiates on the outside. So ask yourself again, what is truly inside of me?